Hey, what's up? Welcome to this new video. This one is uh, a requested question from uh, paper 1 to A-Level Math. This is from the latest May-June uh, 2021 series. So this is a question uh, which is pretty interesting because it is unusual. However, the question is actually pretty simple. So let's begin with the question. The diagram shows a cross-section of seven cylinder pipes, each of radius 20 centimeters. Right. Now they are held together by a thin rope wrapped around tightly the pipe. So basically here you can see we have seven circles, right? And they are of equal size. And in the center here we have a full circle and around we have six circles. That's good to know um, according to the diagram. Now we have this thin rope here which wraps tightly around these pipes. Now the centers of the uh, six pipes are A, B, C, and D, and F. So as you can see here, we have the centers given to you as follows. Now, the points P and Q are situated where a straight cross-section of the rope meets the pipe with the center A. As you can see here, we have the points P and Q uh, on the diagram. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to the question. So we have what? We have to show the angle P, A, Q is pi over 3 radians. So now we know pi is 180 over 3, that will be, in other words, 60 degrees. We have to show that this angle here is 60 degrees. So how are you going to show this? So in this case, uh, we can use, I would say, observation. For example, if you count, we have one here, one, uh, one sector, two sector, three, four, five, and six. So the idea is that because it is tightly wrapped, right, and also they are around this circle in the center, if you were to cut these pieces, these sectors, if you join them, they will form a complete circle. So that's the main idea here. So let's write this down. You can write down. The angle PAQ will be equal to, so the whole thing will be 2 pi, which is the whole angle for the whole circle. And because we have 6 equal sectors, that will be divided by 6, which is pi by 3. Now, obviously, you can explain uh, in words as well to help them understand how you derive the answer. Now, that will be part one of the question. But now again, if you guys did not know part one, it is no big deal. Why? Because you know by the question, this is the angle, and you should be able to use this to continue the questions either way. Now, let's move on. So part B, we have to find the length of the rope. Now, length is basically around this shape. So let's count. For example, here we have this one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six arc length, right? So we can agree on that for now. Then plus, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, let's call this length x, why not? Now, how do you find arc length in a circular measure? We know that arc length is equal to r times the angle. So r is radius, that will be 20. Angle is pi by 3. That will be, uh, we can uh, multiply. So let's, let's just uh, write this in this way right now. The next thing we have to find, this length. So what is this length? If you observe, We can just do this, for example, the length is from here to this point here. So if you connect those two, you realize that what? You realize this is the center, this is the center as well. This is the radius, this is the radius. So 20 plus 20, that is 40. So basically x, so x, x, x. So six times x, so x is 40. So as we have seen from the diagram, x will be 40 for that length. So let's find the value here. So finally, we can just replace in the main formula to find the length, that will be what? That will be six times the arc length, that will be 20 pi over three, plus six times the value for that length of x. As we can see, it is the same, it will be the same everywhere because the circle of the same size and everything else, right? So let's find down the value, that will be what? 6 times 20 pi over 3 plus 6 times 40. 
that will be 365.66 now obviously you correct your 3SF you can write 366 and that will be in terms of centimeters for the length of the rope that will be part B of the question now part C we have to find the area of the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F giving you answers in terms of root 3 so let's first join all the points so here we have A, B, C, uh, B, C, C, D, D, E, and then finally we have those two left to form the shape that we are trying to, uh, to find. So basically right now as you can see we're trying to find the area of this, of this shape. Now what else can we do? So we can actually play with this as well. Obviously for a circle we will have to have a center right here. Now I can join those points. Let's see what do we have. So this with this, right? Now by observation, what can we see? We can see that this shape is divided into equal parts, equal areas of, of these triangles. Now these triangles has side of what? Let's check. So we can clearly see that because we have this length is what? This length is, is 40. This length is 40. This is 40. So we have one triangle is, is like this. 40, 40, and 40. Obviously the angle will have to be 60, right? Because it is an equilateral triangle. So what is the area of one of those triangles? That will be half times the two sides will be 40 square and times sine of the angle in between. That will be, so let's find out. 40 square times half, that will be 800. Now sine 60 will be, what is the exact value of sine 60? 60, that will be root 3 over 2, right? That will be what, 400 root 3? will be the area of one of those triangles. Now you have to find how many? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So times six for the whole area. That will be 2400 root three for the value here. So that will be in terms of root three, 2400 root three centimeters square for the area. Now let's move on to part D of the question. We have to find the area of the complete region enclosed by the rope. Again, this question is done by observation. So let's see what do we have. So if you observe, if you want to, let me uh, break this down for you guys so you guys can see exactly what's happening. So we know this area already in the center, but we have to find the area around that, that shape. So let me break this down. So here we have this, right? So let's see what else do we have. We have this. Okay. So as you can see, we have uh, we are able to uh, I think I think one more here, able to break this down into pieces. Now we can simply solve one by one to find the total area. Okay, so now if you count, let me label the areas we can find right away. So this one in the center we know already. We just need to find the one around. Now the one around we can first find this area. This is sector, sector. So here missing one. Uh, let me write this first, sector, sector, and sector. So here I'm missing one of them. That should be in this direction, right? As you can see, we have we have how many sectors? That will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So first part will be six sectors. Plus, now if you observe, what is the shape? This is a rectangle. Why? Because we can see that it tells you here, it is uh, P and Q are where the straight cross section, which means this here will have to be 90, 90. 
So obviously this will be also 90 right here for this one. So basically here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six rectangles. And finally just the area in the middle that was this one, 24 root 3, 100 root 3. So how do you find area of sectors? We know by using the formula, pretty easy. That will be 6 times half, all square was 20 square, and the angle was pi over 3. Now 6 rectangles will be length times width. The length was 40, and the width was 20. So this was 40, and the width is the radius, which is 20. And just plus 24 root 3 at the end. So let's see what do we get. So that will be so 3 times 20 square times um, root 3, sorry, pi over 3 plus 6 times 40 times 20 plus 2400 root 3. That should give you the values of 10, 21, 3, 5, 5, 9. So let's double check if uh, I have the right answer. That will be 3. 20 square times pi over 3. Okay, that's the first one. Plus 6 times 40 times 20 plus 2400 root 3. That will be this value indeed. So as you can see, here we have this answer. Now again, it is not exact. What do we do? We can rewrite this down, correct you. 3SF, that will be 102 Zero, zero. And that will be centimeters square for the area. Okay, And this is the answer for the last question. As you can see, the question is not that tough. It is just uh, not usual. And uh, <laughs> you just have to actually, as always, you can always break it down into pieces and find the corresponding answers. Now, with that being said, good luck for the rest of your exams. And I hope that was somewhat useful to give you guys some kind of perspective. What, what you guys can try when you have different kind of question. Now, with that being said, have a good day. Bye-bye.